Jazz Duet's analysis of We Are The Champions. Having put the microscope on the piece for some while, I would like to now share my discoveries with whoever is interested out there. Note, there are so many gems inside this masterpiece that I have, in the interests of theory, digestion and concentration, decided to limit this presentation to just 14 highlights. Okay, let's start. Part 1 then. General global features. 1. Did you know that We Are The Champions features four key centers? The first key is C minor in this section. Then after eight bars, there is an abrupt modulation move up to E flat major, the relative major of C minor. This produces a different emotion. Next, the song moves up a tone to the triumphant sounding F major. Then the melody comes to rest on the last section in F Dorian. Whoa. Highlight 2. Did you know that We Are The Champions contains a melody extremely similar to the opening bassoon line figure of Stravinsky's 1913 Rite of Spring? Now I will play the Stravinsky melody in F, as this will help the comparison. Now let's hear the Queen melody. We are the champions, my friend. Can you hear the similarity? Here is the Queen melody with the numbers of the notes as they relate to F major. And here is Stravinsky's theme with the numbers of the melody notes. Very similar, no? And here for fun is the original Stravinsky melody with the We Are The Champions chords. Highlight 3. Did you know that oddly for a pop song, the length in bars of the sections are asymmetrical? A is 8 bars, I've paid my dues. B is 9 bars, mistakes. C and D 17, 12 plus 5, and E is 6 bars. Whoa. More about this in the accompanying PDF. Did you know that We Are The Champions contains musical elements reminiscent of the beautiful 1973 song, Send In The Clowns? Isn't it rich? Are we a pair? And here is the extract to listen to for the comparison. And bad mistakes. I've made a few. Here are the three things the two songs have in common. A. They are both in compound time. B. They both have similar melodies. C. Both contain chords 1 and 4 over a pedal harmony upon which the melody is hung. Highlight 5. Did you know that We Are The Champions contains an interesting dynamic contour? Look at this waveform of the tune with the sections highlighted. You can see clearly the ups and downs of the piece that add so much to the drama and power. Highlight 6. Did you know that the moments in the song when the voice is tracked and harmonised coincide exactly with the richer, tenser, more emotional harmony? For instance, here. On, 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 on. And here. We are the champions. Contrasting directly with the solo voice, which is accompanied with simpler harmony. My dues, time after time. Part 2. Chord Stroke Harmonic Gems 1. Did you know that the opening two chord vamp section of We Are The Champions 
features the two same minor chords James Brown used in his 1966 hit, It's a Man's Man's World. Man made the cars. These chords are one minor to five minor in E flat minor. In We Are the Champions, the chords are C minor to G minor. One minor to five minor seven. Alicia Keys also used the same two chords in her 2001 song, Falling. Harmonic highlight two. Did you know that We Are The Champions contains one of the most emotional non-diatonic chords in music, the four minor. Here is the section with the Roman numeral analysis. We are the champions. We are the champions. So the key is F at this moment. The four minor chord is B flat minor with the melody touching the pungent major seventh on this four minor chord. Harmonic feature three. Did you know that We Are The Champions contains a B flat seven sharp 11 chord? A rich, full, exotic sound that we would expect to hear in a jazz standard, for example, tenderly. Here is the bar in question, with just the vocals of Freddie Mercury. On. And here in context. On, 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 on. And now on the piano slowly, with the inner chromatic line highlighted. <laughs> Harmonic highlight four. Did you know that We Are The Champions in the chorus features the same chord progression as What A Wonderful World, made famous by Louis Armstrong? I see trees of green, red roses too. Chords one to three minor to four major. Here is We Are The Champions in bar five of the chorus where the tune repeats. And we Harmonic highlight five. Did you know that We Are The Champions contains an E flat add nine chord in second inversion with a melody on the sharpened 11th? This gorgeous sound. And in context. Harmonic highlight six. Did you know that We Are The Champions contains this chord, G minor seven flat five over E, with the natural ninth in the melody. We are the this chord is actually very similar to the previous B flat minor with the major seventh. This chord forms part of an emotional cadence that moves to F major. Harmonic highlight seven. Did you know that We Are The Champions contains two Dorian moments that color the song in a specific way? Here in bar 26, this is G Dorian, which is of course minor. And in bar 35 onwards, featuring F Dorian. The G minor 7 offers us a big clue, as it contains the pungent Dorian natural 6, in this case D. Harmony highlight 8. Did you know that We Are The Champions ends on a C sus chord that leaves us somewhat in suspense? If you enjoyed this video, you can directly nourish and support future content by purchasing the accompanying PDF or becoming a Jazz Stewart's patron for less than a cup of coffee. Cheers!